This is Kevin Mayo, your American correspondent for Real Ill Craft Beer. And today we're drinking Brookshire Brewing Company's Draymond, Coffee's House Porter, which is a mix of Dean's Beans Organic Coffee. Don't really know them, but I guess they're local. And they're Draymond's Porter. Draymond's Porter is one of their better beers. Berkshire Brewing, or BBC as we call it around here, is, I don't know what, 30 minutes, 35 minutes due north from where I live. It's in Deerfield, Massachusetts. Um, they've been around. They're probably one of the oldest Massachusetts breweries. They're fairly large. Uh, they've got a huge presence around here. And you can pretty much find them in a lot of places. Their uh, signature beer is their uh, steel rail and I mean, pretty much everybody has it on tap around here. It's almost as ubiquitous as Sam Adams. So we see it everywhere. The Draymond's Porter, really, really good porter. I've had it before. I reviewed it. And uh, this one here I actually had last, about a year ago, a year and a, um, down in Newport, Rhode Island during the holiday weekend in February, President's Day weekend. And I had it on tap down there, and it was really good. So I thought maybe I'd give it a, a nice go for the Real Ale Craft Beer Channel and give it a pour and see what it looks like. Did look at YouTube, not to really watch, I just was wondering if anybody else had reviewed this. Didn't see any other reviews on it, so this might be the first review ever of the Draymond, I mean, I keep saying Draymond's Porter, of the Coffee House Porter. Go ahead and we'll give it a pour. And I know there's subtle distinctions between porters and stouts, but I kind of tend to personally use the, the term or even the style more or less interchangeably. And I think in a craft beer world it kind of works that way too. Uh, so, I can if I put it right to the light I can see through it, but basically it's pretty much black other than I can see the light. Uh, we got a nice brown head on it, got about two fingers on it, tight white bubbles. I don't know what the ABVs are. This rich dark ale takes BBC's popular Draymond's Porter and adds Dean's Beans organic coffee to the mix, creating an enticing blend of everyone's favorite beginning to the end. Uh, try that again. An enticing blend of everyone's favorite beginning and end of the day beverages. Robust and aromatic, Coffee House Porter is sure to please no matter what time of the day as you choose to enjoy it. I think it's 36 IBUs, but I don't remember what the ABV is on it. Let's do the aroma. And you just get that coffee. And I mean black coffee. Strong. Yet, underneath it, I still get that roasted malt. That toast. Man, it's like breakfast. I get toast and coffee. But yeah, just roasted malt and big blast of coffee. Black coffee. Or even espresso. Really, really smells enticing. Let's give it a taste. Wow. Did not get really anything on the aroma, but you get a nice burst of chocolate up front, like milk chocolate. And it almost, and it's not... It almost has that nitro mouthfeel to it, that rich, creamy mouthfeel. So you get that nice milk, creamy chocolate, that nice, rich mouthfeel. Then you get a real strong taste of coffee, which makes sense. The coffee's in the beer. And then you get a bitter at the back end to take some of that creaminess, that chocolatey sweetness away, just to balance the beer out. A real, real world-class beer. This beer really, I mean, I know that they're um, Draymond's Porter, which I kept referencing him out of kind of getting my the two beers mixed up. The Draymond's Porter is really good, got a great reputation. I know I gave it a fairly high school when I reviewed it. Uh, this is a just a world-class porter. It's, it'll stand up pretty much to anybody out there. Yeah, maybe some of the top-of-the-line Imperial Stouts might, when it comes down to score, might beat it a little bit. But this is a really, really, really good beer. And again, that rich milk chocolate up front. 
you get some nice black coffee, espresso. It ends with a nice bitter balancing it out. I didn't mention it, but there's a little bit of dark fruit in the middle there somewhere too. A little, maybe just a hint of caramel from the from the malt. Just a really, really good beer. I'm going to give it a score. I'm going to give this a solid 89 out of 100. Till next time, keep drinking.